In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement four basic conditional formatting techniques in Google Sheets. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Google Sheets is increasingly becoming a popular spreadsheet tool. The advantage of Google Sheets is it is free, is accessible over multiple platforms and devices and can be easily used for collaboration. Here is a basic stock portfolio tracker. The details in this table are the stock name, the segment that the stock belongs to, the current rate of the stock, the rate at which it was bought and the percentage change in rate between the bought and the current rate. If you want to know how to get the current stock price in Google Sheets, you can check the video link shown in the top right corner now. Let's start by doing some conditional formatting on this data. The first one we are going to do is to do conditional formatting based on text. Here you can see that the stocks are broadly divided into various segments. Let's say that we want to highlight now a particular segment of stock. First select the range which we want to format which in this case is the segment then go to the format menu option click it and then go all the way down to conditional formatting now you will get an option on the right which says apply to the range which is from c5 to c14 the one we've selected and we want to format the cells that is equal to let's say we want to first highlight all the cells which are belonging to the text segment. As soon as we finish typing here, you can see the output that is all the segments which belong to the text sector have been highlighted and let me just change the default to yellow. Okay and just say done. So that you see all the text segments have been highlighted. Let's say you want to see only the F and B. You can again click on any cell which has been conditionally formatted. So on the right you will now have the options. Click here and now you can edit this to F and B. You just say done and then you have the F and B sector highlighted. Though it is simple to do, it still is a little time consuming that you need to go inside the formula and change again. This leads us to our second conditional formatting technique that is to conditional format based on a value in another cell. Before I show you the second technique, let's delete the first conditional formatting. So let's click anywhere within the segment column and on the right now you will have the conditional formatting rules. Click on the trash can out here and there the conditional formatting rule has now been removed. We will try to do conditional formatting in the segment column based on the value in the cell I2. So I'm going to put the value as tech and now again select our segment column, go to the format menu and click on conditional formatting. And now in our rules we are going to use is equal to put the value or formula the formula is going to be equal to i2 so you need to type in here i'm going to put dollar i dollar 2 as soon as you put in here you see that all the tech segments have been highlighted please remember to fix the reference as dollar i dollar 2 if you do not let's say we just put in i2 only the first cell will be highlighted. This is because it's relating C5 cell to I2 and then the next cell C6 will then be related to I3. Since we want all the rows in the table to be formatted based only on the cell I2, you need to fix it by typing in $i and $2 and just say done. That. Now based on what is in cell i2 only those segments will be highlighted let's say now that you change from tech to f and b 
automatically it's highlighted let's change to auto and you see the auto segment has been highlighted we can make it a little more user friendly by using drop down menu options to do that let's go to the cell i2 now go to the data menu drop down and use data validation there we can choose the criteria as list of items and type in our three different segments tech fnb and auto and just say save i'm going to change the rule to have yellow color just say done so now in our cell i2 we have a drop down menu option so you can click let's say tech and automatically the tech segments will get highlighted so it becomes a really user friendly way to do some conditional formatting and highlight particular segments of data currently we've seen how to do conditional formatting on a single cell based on its value or a value in another cell you can also highlight a whole row based on a value in one cell in that row to do that let's first delete the conditional formatting so i'm just going to go to the segment cell and delete this conditional formatting let's select the complete range of our data from cell b5 to cell g14 and then go to the format menu option click on conditional formatting i'm going to change the default style to yellow and in the rules we are going to choose the last option which is custom formula out here since we need to color the row based on the segment our conditional formatting is going to be based on the cell c5 for row 5 cell c6 for row 6 c7 for row 7 and so on and so forth so the formula is going to be dollar c i should be equal to dollar i dollar 2 which is fixing our i2 cell reference note that we have given dollar c5 where we fixed dollar c which is the column but the row can change and that will ensure that our complete row is been highlighted and you say done here and there you go so now when we have selected fnb we have got the complete row highlighted and if we now select tech all the tech stocks are highlighted similarly for auto all the auto stocks get highlighted we can also do conditional formatting on values so let's say that now we want to highlight some stocks based on the percentage change to do that we can select the change column since this cell is part of a conditional formatting rule that is going to be shown here and to that we can add another rule where in this segment now we can add let's say it's greater than i'm going to choose 0.1 which is 10% value and just say done there so now you can see that all the stocks which have greater than 10% change have been highlighted so you can also add multiple conditional formatting rules to the same cell Let's say that we wanted to highlight anything greater than 10% as light green and anything greater than 20% as dark green. To do that, let's again select the change column and I'm going to edit the light green rule first. So, let's click on it and instead of putting greater than, you can choose is between 0.1 and 0.2. You can also use 10% and 20% so that you see already any stock which is greater than 10 and less than 20 is highlighted as light green we can say done right now but i want to add another rule again in the same range we are going to add a format rule which is greater than 20% let's highlight it with a uh, dark green and i'm just going to change the color to white let's say that now we wanted to also highlight our negative change stocks so i'm going to add an other rule now 
where again I'm going to choose is between negative 10% and negative 20% and change it to let's say a light red and add a final rule of it's less than negative 20% change the rule to let's say a darker red and I'm going to choose white you see now that though we used a conditional formatting of greater than minus 20 the row 10 which has a value of minus 43 is not highlighted because the first conditional formatting takes precedence so we can click in the left side three dots and pull it down all the way to the bottom as soon as you do that now the percentage change stocks first take preference after that the row highlight based on the segment takes preference so there we can see all the percentage change highlighted based on our four different rules and also the segment highlighted based on our selection in cell i2 so if you now change it to let's say tech you can see all the tech stocks being highlighted Conditional formatting is really simple and easy to implement. It's a great tool to visually indicate important aspects of your data. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, ciao.